stop a million nuts. I'm a 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 stop a million nuts. Yo, what's good? So, have you guys been following Roy Jones? I know you guys have. He's gonna fight next Sunday, March 20th. Yes, on a Sunday. Part of a UR fight card on pay per view. It's gonna be $11.99. And if you guys have never heard of UR fight, it is kind of like a fight league that mixes all fight fighting styles. And I will talk about the other fights, quote unquote, that are taking place. Uh, next Sunday later on in the video, but I want to talk about a little bit about Roy Jones, man He's fighting a fan and if this guy beats him he will make $100,000 I think it's actually if he knocks Roy Jones out. He's going to receive $100,000 man And this is very sad to see uh, He's gonna fight you see the picture right there Byron Phillips and it turns out he's got a little bit of fighting experience He's a 2011 gold medalist at the Ontario Pro Provincial Boxing Championship. So I assume he's Canadian. Actually, he's from Minnesota, but he won his gold medal in the Canada Provincial Championships. And he's a full-time he's a full-time professional MMA fighter. So he's got a fighting background and he's got a nice story. It says his brother was killed by a stray bullet in a drive-by shooting. So He's got he's got that backstory, he's got that Cinderella man type of vibe in it. <sighs> Kinda makes me intrigued in that fight. But it's just so sad. So sad to see Roy Jones like that. He's gonna fight this guy for this guy could make a hundred grand. And that kinda tells me that Roy Jones is not gonna make a hundred grand fighting. Is he just fighting for for fun now? Is he just fighting because he likes fighting? He likes getting his head bashed in. So that's, yeah, that's his opponent. A professional MMA fighter. And if this guy knocks him out, knocks him out or beats him, I'm not sure. I think it's if he knocks him out, he will receive 100 grand. So what do you guys think about that? As for the rest of the card, it's kind of a clusterfuck, actually. So you got MMA. You got a grappling match, which I presume is going to be like a amateur wrestling match. And... I, Apparently it's a it's a submission, so there's no punching or kicking. It's not MMA. It's amateur wrestling, and of course, what I'm most excited for <laughs> is the pro wrestling match against uh, Kurt Angle and Rey Mysterio. This tells me that UR Fights has some money to afford Roy Jones, Rey Mysterio, and Kurt Angle to face each other. Kurt Angle currently got a contract with TNA and Rey Mysterio got a contract with, I, I believe he has a contract with, with um, AAA. So they're pretty both pretty flexible, but still, if they're buying them out for one day, these guys are huge stars. So your fight got some money and they want to get noticed. This is their big event to get noticed. So I'm, I'm excited about that fight. Um, They're both pretty old, I think. Kurt Angle's definitely in his 40s, and Rey Mysterio is in his late 30s, but he's old for his age, right? Because his knees and all the high-flying moves. Then we got Channel Sonnen versus Michael Bis Bisping, and that that's the one that's going to be a grappling match. Uh, I guess Sonnen is a NCAA champion for wrestling, and Michael Bisping, he beat Anderson Silva recently. I've been hearing that he got, that they robbed uh, Silva that he actually got knocked out and he actually got knocked out and he still won somehow I, I didn't see that fight but that's what I heard and we got the, for the MMA you got Dan Severn who was actually a NWA champion back in the day of the I, I, I think it was the 80s so he's actually a two-time NWA champion and he's a he's a UFC Hall of Famer uh, he he was around when when the UFC was barely coming out when it was in the crazy start of the days. So was Tank Tank Abbott, David Lee Tank Abbott. Uh, one of the these guys are the pioneers pretty much for the MMA. So they're pretty old. And hey, th this this could be a good card. 
it it really it really seems like a clusterfuck. But I'm excited. I'm I kind of want to see you know kind of like a car crash. I want to see Roy Jones. Uh, no doubt, I want to see Ray versus Kurt Angle. And the other fights could be interesting. I think the most boring fight will probably be the grappling match. But this is very interesting. Mixing all types of fighting styles. You got my two favorite sports. You got boxing and professional wrestling. And yes, I do consider pro wrestling a sport. It is a form of entertainment. But it is a sport in my eyes. Is this a future of fighting? You, you know, we hear we hear um, discussions. MMA versus boxing. We're not, and then you hear, I think the more rational, um, the more rational thought is... They're different sports. You can't really compare them. And this is mixing everything. You can't compare pro wrestling to amateur wrestling. You can't compare MMA to boxing. They're different sports. And but they're all fighting. They're all they're all martial arts. So this could be exciting. This could be the future of this could be the future of fighting. I'm I'm definitely getting ahead of myself. For, but for eleven ninety nine, you can see all these fights. I'm not a promoter for UR fights, but it, I I hadn't heard anything about this. This is this is strange. This is interesting, and like I said, it's exciting because it's new. I want I want to see how this thing goes. Tell me what you guys think about this this event, this mixing of all the martial arts into one. Thanks everybody for watching.